One of the most important security component that stands between a malicious external traffic and the organization is the firewall. As long as the firewall is con configured correctly, reviewed regularly and optimized, the risk of intrusion is at the minimum. The firewall security is done at the configuration level, at the rule based level and at the physical security level. Hello and welcome to Information Security Governance, Risk and Compliance. My name is Salvador and today we will learn how to audit a firewall in 10 checkpoints. Let's get started. Point number one, ensure the firmware of the firewall device is current. Make sure the operating system is updated with the latest security patches and the firewall device is installed in a favorable environmental condition with access control implemented to avoid unauthorized access. Point number two, check and verify that the SNMP version is V3 as the previous versions are in clear text and vulnerable. Additionally, make sure the community string is strong. Point number three, make sure all the default usernames like admin are renamed and or changed along with their default passwords. Check if the access to the firewall is authenticated with a RADIUS or TACAC server. Users accessing the firewall externally should log in through a VPN with a strong encryption. Make sure the VPN users are reviewed regularly. Point number four, ensure that there is a high availability with the secondary firewall switching over automatically to prevent single point of failure. Make sure that the BCP DR testing is performed at a regular intervals by validating the evidences of the test results. Point number five, check and verify that the firewall config file and rule base is backed up for future restoration purposes. Ensure the logs are collected at a centralized server and alerts are configured to report system and security related events or incidents. Make sure privileged users' activities are not only logged but reviewed regularly. Also check if NTP server is configured, preferably with an internal server like Active Directory. Point number six, coming to the rule base, one of the most dangerous rule configured in a firewall is the one word that has any in it. Make sure that any is not used in a source, destination, service or port. Point number seven, make sure there is no rule granting access from DMZ to internal network. Also make sure that there is no rule providing direct communication or incoming connection from internet to the internal network. Check and verify that the access to the vulnerable ports like FTP finger are not configured for any usage. Point number eight, check and verify that there are no rules that grant access to a large subnet. This gives unnecessary access to a large number of endpoints or IPs, making it vulnerable. And importantly, make sure there is a deny all configured at the end of the rules. Point number nine, check and verify if there are any redundant rules. Redundant rules are the ones which are duplicate and serve the same purpose. Unused rules which are not used or not performing any activity. Inactive rules are the ones which are not active or disabled or shadow rules. These are the rules which, which contradict and ensure these rules are removed for a better performance. And finally, and importantly, point number 10, make sure that any change to the firewall configuration or rule base is done through a proper change management only. Make sure all the changes are tracked in the change management system and has prior approval. Thank you for watching the video. Do provide your feedback and subscribe the channel for upcoming videos. Thank you.